Spring has arrived here in Finland. I'm full of creativity. So today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this. <laughs> Sweet, right? And we did all that with Photo Director. It's coming up. I'm Harvey Roberts. This is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. Today we're creating the glass text effect. We're going to do it all in Photo Director. I'm going to show you step by step from beginning to end how to create that text. And then I'm going to show you how to save it as a PNG file so you can bring it into any program you like and it retains that glass effect. How sweet is that? Also, I'm going to show you how to save it as a PHI file. Oh, now that's piqued your interest. <laughs> it's Photo Director's default file format, so you don't have to recreate it again like I've shown you, and you can just bring it in, change the text, save it as a PNG file, and you're good to go. Very cool, right? Oh, very fonzy. <laughs> as always, watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. Let's open up Photo Director. Let's create some glass. Now, if you've seen a previous tutorial um, on Photo Director, you'll know that from the launch here, the two buttons, Organize and Just and Edit, it doesn't really matter which one we choose because once we're inside the program, we can swap between the two. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go directly to Edit because I want to go directly into the Expert area. On the top left corner here, you can see Expert. If yours looks like this on the Guided, just make sure you click on Expert. Now, right on the left here, it says click here to add a new layer on this. We don't want to do that either. So what we need to do is go to file in the menu and create empty project. I'm going to give this a name of glass like so. I'm going to keep the size at the same. I prefer to use pixels. You can choose three separate inches or centimeters. Pixels is my, my favorite. Now, the background says transparent. Now, there's a bit of a problem with the transparent. You can have transparent or solid color. The transparent one is a bit of a problem and I'll show you why right now. So let's click OK. Keep this transparent. As you can see, the gamut is here and uh, on our left hand side, we've got a layer, layer one. Excellent. However, if you go over to the tools menu on the right hand side, about halfway down, there's this T you can see there and it's a text tool. So let's click on the text tool. Don't change anything just yet. Just just click once inside our gamut like so. And now you'll notice the layer has changed now. Now it's our text layer. We, we don't want that. We want it to be a new layer on its own. So go back up to file. Create empty project. Don't save that file. Let's try again. We'll name this class as like so. We'll keep that. But instead of the background being transparent, we're going to use a solid color. And there's a little icon comes there. You can change the color you like. I'm going to keep mine at white because I hate this dark system that they forced me to use. And, and so I'm going to leave mine on white. So I'm going to click OK. Visually nice, better for me. I can see things and we still got the layer one on. It's now white. So let's go back over to our tools menu here and the T is still selected. You need to deselect and reselect it so you, you can get it. So now when we click anywhere on our page here we get a separate layer if you look at on our left hand side you see now we've got a layer two which is our text layer now i'm going to type in I put the caps lock on i'm going to type in glass like so now if your text isn't this big like this i'm going to show you just make this so it's more visible i'm going to drag it some i'm going to center it like so OK, if your text is not this big, go into the right hand side and you can see here at the text, you can, you can change the font. Now, these are all fonts that I've not downloaded. The ones that you downloaded, it will change automatically as you scroll your mouse over them like so. We could use a rounded one for this. I'm going to stay with this at the moment for this tutorial. So that's that's good. Change its size here to 300. Mine's at 300. Everything else I'm going to leave at default. So just get a nice big text like this is what we're after. Now, another tip here, if you just left click quickly on the layer two, the text layer, if you left click it now that we've typed in our text, it names it automatically for us glass. Very cool, right? So you don't have to rename that. You can rename them if you want, but that was just a nice, a nice addition. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the layers effects. Now there's three ways we can do this. There's an FX you can see here for the layer properties. We can click that. We can right click anywhere on this text layer and go to layer properties. And we can also go to the layer on the menu at the top here and the fourth one down is layer properties. So you've got several options to use. I prefer to use the FX little FX button right here and I'm going to click this open. And it opens like this. If yours just comes as this little window like so, just do normal windows here in, in the top right, maximize it and make it big so you can see and you can follow along. So here on our menu on the left hand side, we're going to use several of these. So let's start at the top and work our way down so we can see what's happening. I'm going to click once in Bevel and Emboss and then I'm going to open the menu like so. And we'll go step by step so you can see how we're doing this. The blending mode for the highlights we're going to keep at screen. The blending mode for the shadows we're going to go to soft light. So let's drop that down until we find soft light, which is here. We're going to use an inner bevel. There are several versions you can choose. We can always come back to this later and choose whichever we want. We're going to stay with inner bevel and we're going to leave our direction to up. We're going to leave the size at 10, but we're going to change the depth to about 80. So drag it up to about 80 and we're going to soften it to 10 like so. I can I never get it with this mouse. OK, so we've got it at 10. <laughs> so we got it at 10. We'll leave the, the light source. You can change this to whatever direction you want. And if you notice it, it changes it around on the text. You can it's entirely up to you. I just let leave it as the default. But the light altitude, I'm going to change this down to about 37. Like so. Always go over 37. And that's we that's us done for this bevel and emboss. I'll leave it there for a moment just so you can see and if you're pausing and replaying this. Okay, so I'm going to close this menu up because it opens up too long. And the next one we're going to go to is border one. So make sure you click on border one and open up its menu. So the direction we're going to use for this is outside. We're going to use a blending mode of overlay. So find the overlay one, drag it down until you find overlay like so. We're going to give it a size of about four. I would say is a good size to be around at three or four is nice. And we're going to bring the opacity down to 50%. Like so. 50%. And now we're going to have our fill color. We're going to keep it at white because we want it to be glass, right? We don't want it to be dark or anything like that. But you can change it later. It's fine. And that's us done for the border. So leave that for one second so you can do a pause and play and then carry on. There we go. Let's close that one up. And our next one, of course, now is the inner shadow. So we're going to click on this and then open up its menu. We're going to blending mode. We're going to keep it normal. And we want the color to be white. So change this. Click on the little icon, click on white and click on OK. We want our opacity to be about 40%. So bring that back up to about 40, like so. Light source, I'm not going to touch the light source. I'm going to keep it at the same. I'm going to have the distance at about four. So we're going to make this a little bit smaller down, like that's good. And the choke, I'm going to put right up to 80%. Now, you won't see anything on this until we come back to it a little bit later. So just take my word for it. Uh, eight, is, eight is pretty good. And we'll keep the size at 10. And that's it for this in the, in the shadow. I'll leave it there for a second so you can do your, if you're following along, pause and, and play. There we go. Now we need the inner glow. Click this one open. Open up its menu. And we're going to use overlay for our blending mode. So let's find overlay. Here we go. And we're going to change its color to black. Like so. Which is really cool. And we're going to opacity down to about 30%. That's nice. Now I'm not going to touch any anything on the noise. I don't want any noise. And we're going to use softer for its technique. 
but the source we're going to have, we're going to put it in the center. And we're going to have it at 30% on the choke and we're going to put 40% on the size. And you'll see this later when, when we start messing around, when we actually turn it into glass. So let's turn it over to 40. That's it for this menu. I'll leave it for a second. There you go. And then we'll close that up. Our last one we're going to go to is drop shadow. We're not going to touch any others, just a drop shadow. Click it once open it up and now you'll notice it is starting to look a little bit like glass now the blending mode of course we're going to put back to normal we're going to keep it at black for our drop shadow we're going to have a distance of about 22 2022 is a, is a, is a pretty uniform and a pretty nice set we're going to have the spread out to about five Sizes, I'm going to leave at 10 and the opacity I'm going to drop down to 40 because it's, it's too harsh and so let's drop that down to about 40. There we go. The light source I'm going to keep as it is. I'm not going to touch any of that. That will just be default and, and that's it and, and we're done. That's brilliant. Looks like glass. So go over to the bottom right hand side and just click on OK and now you can see we've got our glass effect. Very cool, right? <laughs> and now you're thinking it doesn't look anything like glass. It's pretty neat though, as it is. Now click on the layer one and right click. So make sure it's selected, right click on layer one and duplicate that layer. So now we've got our layer one copy. I'm gonna change this to gradient just so that I don't get lost like so, so I know what this is. Now I'm gonna turn off this text there with this eye icon on the left hand side here. Make sure our gradient layer is selected. Go all the way over onto the right hand side, onto our tools menu here, and underneath the text, the second one below it, you'll see it says gradient tool. Click it once, and it opens up this little menu, and you can see you've got color. Now if yours is this black and white like that, you've got this little, reset button here on the left and then on the top right you can swap between the two and then you can click on either of the colors and change its color so i'm going to click on the black color and i'm going to choose a nice i'm going to choose just this blue for this and click ok and then i'm going to click on the white one and i'm going to change its color to that other blue like so fine now i'm going to use my mouse and drag from the bottom left click and hold and drag it all the way to the right corner, top right corner, and release it. And there's our wonderful gradient. And now you can grab these icons, the bottom left icon or the top right icon. You can drag these and move them around and, and alter your how you want it. I'm going to leave it just like that. And like I said, the bottom one, see, we can change that and bring it how, how we want. I'm going to leave it, so that's fine. Now, there is no apply or OK for this, so to deselect everything here just click on another tool somewhere and, it, and that'll get rid of it for you so that's that's another uh, thing to watch out for and there we go and then we can just switch our glass eye indicator back on so we can get our glass back and there it is look looks like glass right <laughs> no make sure the glass layer is selected click on fx right there and right on the very bottom one it says layer fill click it once and it's usually open by default because it's just an opacity slider and all you do is just drop the opacity down to zero <laughs> or you can bring back a little bit of if you want it to be a little bit darker you choose whatever you like i'm going to drop it all the way to zero and i'm going to go to the bottom right and click ok and there we go there's our glass now you're thinking that's not really pretty. It's not that good. And it isn't that good, to be honest. But I'm going to show you something very cool. Click on our gradient layer. Make sure it's selected. And then on the top left, right at the beginning where it says add a new layer, we're going to click this add new layer. And I'm going to go to add a photo layer. And I'm going to bring in a photograph. And I'm going to bring in one of my pictures, which is this green grass right here. And now you can see it looks like glass so make sure it's selected so we can move it around and use this little icon here and now we can move it around and it looks exactly like how it's supposed to be glass <laughs> that is very cool right 
So what we want to do now is, of course, we want to save this as a PHI file so that we can just bring it back in because anytime you bring this back in, we can just basically double click this, select it all and change it, the text to home and it stays exactly so you can keep changing the text how you want and just save them out and you're good to go, right? Very, very cool. Let's put that back to glass like so now so go to the top left into your file click it open and you want to save as a photo director layer file which is the PHI so click it once I've got photo director folder right here I'm gonna save it it's gonna give it as a name of glass now make sure it says save as types make sure you change that to a PHI file which is right there and then just click on save like so and that's it. So if we actually create a new project, click no, and I'm going to click cancel. So we've got back to an empty sync, and I'm going to go file, open PHI file, like so. Photo director, here's the glass. This is the one I was doing. Let's bring it back in. And it brings it back in for you with all the set that you have, even the background and everything else set up, ready to go. Very cool. <coughs> Sorry, now let's save it as a PNG file. So what we want to do is we want to actually make it so it's we don't want all this external information. So I'm going to switch these off and just leave the glass text like so. Now this of course is really big and so what we want to do is we don't want all this extra area around it. We just want it to be as close to the glass as possible. So go to the top right hand corner, right at the very top on the tools menu you can see here it says crop and straighten. Click it once. In the options menu right away it says aspect ratio. Make sure you click the lock so it opens it so we can change it and just drag the sliders in. Now, Remember that there's a drop shadow, so don't go too close or you'll lose that effect. And just drag them all the way in like so. Top and bottom. And the bottom one in as well like that. And then you get these two buttons right here and I'm going to click this accept it. And it gets really big in the screen. And the reason it does that is because right at the top here where my mouse is, it says, it says fit. So every time we do something, it refits it back into the screen so this is this is how big we've got this is pretty nice i'm actually going to bring that down you can see that it changes the font i don't want to change anymore i like this that is good as it's going to get now that's fine for me don't select any more of these just make sure that this is selected it looks like this go to your file menu at the top and save as you can have a save as more options if you so desire i just click on save as I'm going to go to downloads, I'm going to save it as glass and I'm going to change the save file type as a PNG file. If you save it as a JPEG you won't get the gamut, you won't get the uh, the glass effect. It'll put in black or white. So make sure it's PNG file and then I'm going to click, click on save. And there we go, we've saved our file into our into a project. And I'll show you this, let's open up something so we can quickly see that it does actually work. I'm going to create a new project here in Power Director. We'll use Power Director because it's pretty cool. Let's import something into Power Director. Let's bring in, um, I've got a video, I've got a capture. First look, let's bring this one in. Some old stuff, Put it, drop it down on the line. Go to import, import a MIDI file. Where did I say it was on downloads? Here's the glass and there you go, it's glass. And if we just drop it down on the timeline, look at that. And then we can now resize it. When I can collect, when I can select it <laughs> with my mouse, that's better. And then bring it, select it again. Let's lock that so I'm not choosing that. <laughs> and there you go. You can see it's actually going, let me make that a little bit bigger. You're probably not going to be able to see that so much. But you, you can see now it's actually glass all over and everything is see-through. Transparency. Very cool. It works on every project. It's pretty neat. I absolutely love that. Don't save that out and close it down. And there you go. That is our glass effect using only Photo Director. Sweet. So there you go. How cool was that? 
give it a try yourself, mess around with some of the options, play around with the choke on some of those, and add some noise. It creates a very, very cool effect. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please consider subscribing, give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Also, check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.